here's one of those things that's uh, that's really different about living out here in the country versus living out you know, up in the city in Alexandria, DC. Uh, and that is, uh, I gotta take out the trash. And that used to mean just like walking back to the uh, dumpsters behind the house and just kind of, you know, you take out your trash, take out your recycling, just dump it. And then, the, you know, some guy comes and takes it away every week. Here, we go to the, uh, the transfer station and we drop off all of our trash and recycling there. And that's like a 15 minute drive from our house. And it's just, now it's just baked into the cake of, of our daily life. I mean, you know, two, three, four days a week, we drop off our trash. But at some point, when we have things more permanently set up, we're gonna need something that is like a bear proof kind of trash can that we then, you know, maybe empty once a week. I don't know what that looks like, but. Uh, so today, trash run. And it's not so bad, I mean, it's a beautiful drive. It's, it's not something I just, you know, shake my fist at and curse. So. Back at the mountain, Reed's Gap, the Appalachian Trail. I'm gonna do my interval training workout today. So that is going up the first ascent here. It takes about seven, eight minutes. And I just turn around, come right back down, and then doing it again and again. I've gotten four intervals. That's been my best today. I'm gonna go for five. Four takes about an hour and 15 minutes. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than that, but all within 90 minutes. This is just one of the, so I try to get two mountain workouts and then another loaded walk or two in every week. No waste today, just this. When it comes to fat loss or losing weight, however you want to think about it, I think about it like I'm trying to do body recomposition. I want less fat, more muscle. When you're doing that, there's a general rule of thumb It's good to keep in mind. And that is the time it takes. So it takes one month for you to see a difference. It takes two months for anybody you live with, like your friends or family partner it takes two months for them to see a, a difference and it takes three months for like acquaintances and outside people to see a difference that's that can seem like a long time when you're trying really really hard to get more fit or to lose weight but uh it's good to have that in mind sometimes two weeks seems like a long period of time it's like yeah we're working at this so hard for two weeks why isn't anything happening well because it takes longer than that most of the time and I think that that's if you're doing it in a healthy way. I could help you lose like 20 pounds in, in a month. It's just that you're almost guaranteed to be heavier than that a year from that month. So almost guaranteed. Dan John has a, has a cool thing where he says that a good goal is just to weigh one pound less every birthday. You keep that as your goal. I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So, how long has it been for me? Well, I started focusing on fat loss maybe like the second week of July. And uh, it's mid-August, actually right now, it's late August. And uh, so uh, we're looking at these six weeks. And uh, I've been seeing it. I think Christina's starting to see it. And uh, I'm not sure anybody else has really seen it. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I can tell that my clothes are fitting different. My shirts feel better. I look better, I can see it on film. You can see that my face looks slimmer. Especially as I went back and edited some video from June. I was like, gah, man. Actually, that's how this whole thing, this whole focus on fat loss started. Because I did a video, I took video one morning about how we were having an exterminator come. This was the termite moat episode. 
And uh, I looked at that, I was like, oh geez, it's time to do something. And so I got on the scale and I was 199.7 pounds, which is fairly heavy. I was 172 when Christina and I met. And I've been hovering at like around 180, 183 until uh, spring, summer of 2019. Sometimes weighing yourself has a funny effect on motivation because if I put up a chart, you can see this is how a typical month of like serious effort at fat loss looks like. This is what it looks like on the scale. And you see it jumps all over the place, but it trends downward. You can see the trend. But like, you might feel like you kicked ass the day before and oh, you're still, but you're three pounds heavier for some reason. Ah, who knows why your body does that. It's crazy how it can vary by so much. And it doesn't seem really dependent on anything in particular but that's the way it is. And for some people, sometimes weighing themselves makes, makes them crazy. I'm not that way, that's good, but if you are that way, definitely don't weigh yourself. It's crack filling time. These holes aren't gonna fill themselves. All right, time to start finishing this thing. part has been getting these little spaces here since there's a gap because of the baseboard experience that we had um, so uh, it's been very time consuming trying to just kind of wedge some caulk in there and then you know try to smooth it out with my little nail gun nail tool <laughs> then there's a space opens in the back and then you got to do it all over again and just keep doing it you know, very time consuming but it's going okay and I uh, just vacuumed this off got to put some tape down because I'm gonna do this little crap right here in the baseboard and it's been nice to be reminded that we have really nice floors underneath this uh, this paper. It's going to be nice to unveil that and uh, get a look at the whole thing. Alright, I got to put a little uh, painting tape up around the uh, window trim just to keep the caulk from getting smeared all over it. Uh, I'm going to do that and then we'll uh, get to the rest of it. are the two holes that I'm trying to fill. I've got these small tiny little nail holes and I've got the larger screw holes to do. And I'm erring on the side of putting maybe a little bit too much in there. Um, so I mean, I can sand it down, it's not a big deal. Um, I just hope I'm not screwing myself by putting way too much in there. But I have no idea, I've never done this before. Mini wax wood filler. Just got to put in this. Just gonna get a little bit onto the corner here. And just slop it right in.
time for sanding. This is what we're starting with. It dried really fast, so it's totally and completely dry. I'm just gonna start sanding it off and let's see if we fill those holes. Oh, not very good. And this is like one of the first holes that I filled, so let's hope the other ones are a little bit better. got three coats of kills on here and uh, we got the tape off that was a little bit of a chore Christina did that took a razor blade to make sure that we didn't accidentally pull off any of the uh, any of the paint but uh, she did a great job now we've got this to deal with and for the next so the next phase of the project is to install the sink and then we're gonna pull the fridge out of the laundry room and finish the laundry room and then we can have a washer and dryer We've been uh, having some friends. Thank you very much, Mike and Laura. You guys have totally saved our butts with the laundry situation. Uh, they've been having us over for laundry, you know, once a week, once every week or two. And uh, it's been it's a huge help. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, but uh, I can't work in this mess anymore. So let's clean this out. Let's get the shed reorganized and let's just kind of do a little reset here.
Well, that was an hour well spent. Uh, so much better. I got the shuttle organized, everything's cool. It's all clean and vacuumed in here. Much better. Lots of good space to install that sink. That's it for us this week. Thank you as always for joining us. Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and sign up for notifications. We will see you next week.